it's Laura here with Healthy Places Surviving Mental Health Stigma blog. Today I wanted to talk about how romanticizing suicide and suicidal ideation can negatively impact the conversations we have about suicide, our understanding of suicide, and negatively impact those who struggle with suicidal ideation. I believe the most effective way to combat the stigma and negative ideas surrounding these topics is to have open and honest conversation about them. In doing so, we gain a better understanding of what they are, why they happen, and how they affect people, which leads us to better be able to offer treatment and coping mechanisms for those who are struggling. When we romanticize these ideas, however, we are presented with this glossed over or non-reality of what it actually means to live with suicidal ideation and what it means when someone dies by suicide. The two uh, ways that I see these occurring the most is the idea of the gifted artist or tortured artist and the, um, the, t the soul who was too beautiful for this world so they have left us. You can read the blog that I've written to go along with this video if you haven't already to get a better idea of um, how I see those manifesting and what they really mean. But right now I wanted to focus, as I said, on how these can negatively impact our understanding of uh, suicide and suicidal ideation and those who struggle with it. The way it negatively contributes to this is because when we romanticize these ideas, oftentimes we're ignoring the realities of what they are. And when we ignore those realities, we ignore potential treatment and ways that we can help people cope with them. And that obviously is a big problem and leads to people losing hope and sadly even losing their life. So I encourage you all to um, have these open and honest conversations, learn from each other and from others uh, how suicide actually impacts people so that we can open up this conversation and open up our understanding. I know that suicide and suicidal ideation uh, overall can both be very complex and difficult to understand if you haven't um, dealt with those yourself. So that's why these conversations are important because it lends to that understanding. For those who are currently struggling, I wanted to share uh, two helplines for you. In the US, the suicide prevention line is 1-800-273-8255. Here in Canada, we have a crisis line that is uh, 1-833-456-4566. Please reach out to those lines if you're struggling, if not to someone else that you know personally in your life, and know that there is hope and that living with these thoughts is manageable and um, you don't have to suffer in silence. Thank you for listening to this video and I'll see you next time.